Horror games are a difficult genre of games to discuss as there are many types of horror games. There are for example jump scare style horror games like Slenderman which has a special place in my heart as it is the first horror game I ever played. The iconic Slenderman 8 pages would be considered I would say a jump scare style horror game as the main way Slenderman scares you is by just popping up anywhere and scaring the shit out of you. But I guess it can kind of also be described and classified as psychological horror as there is a lot of waiting and trying to avoid him. There are survival horror games like the Resident Evil series which is very popular and for good reason as it has many aspects to it that make it one of the best gaming series in the horror industry and also in the gaming industry in total. There are psychological horror games like I said before and these games are or at least they get their charm in a way by keeping the subject matter very dark but still portraying it as something else very much like a Trojan horse. There are also reverse horror games which are games like Friday the 13th and Dead by Daylight but I'll just skip over those rather quickly. But how about the horror games that incorporate all of this? The psychological horror aspects, the jump scare style aspects, the survival aspect. Ooh, 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 Outlast! I hear some of you might be saying. Well, to that, my esteemed three guests, is not the answer I was looking for. I was thinking more on the Five Nights at Freddy's side of things, specifically one through four and maybe five, depending on how I feel. Many of you I know have mixed feelings about the series as it has turned into quite the show as of late, with Security Breach Ruin being the latest game, I think, and with all the books that have come out which have left diehard fans of the series slobbering on the floor, taking in the sweet delectable lore. Uh, but if you can bear with me and think about it, when the first By Massive Freddy's game came out and how you felt playing it. Nothing like that had ever been made before. Nothing that ticked all the boxes of what a horror game should be and then some. To a lot of people, it really felt that way. Obviously, no disrespect to people who don't think so. Again, this is just my opinion. But I'm sure my opinion is in the majority this time, which is very rare. The first game, which holds a special place in many people's hearts, left many of its fans wanting more. And more came. A little too much came, actually. The gaming series has pulled about 20 million United States dollars in sales alone. But there are also around 25 books available to feed the lower starved fanatics. I don't even know how many games there are, I think maybe 9 or 10? But there should be no more, as Scott Cawthon, the creator of the series, has retired. However, even though he has retired, just like LeBron's legacy, Scott Cawthon's legacy will only continue to grow. There have been an ungodly amount of fan games made using the Five of Freddy's style, and also games that had developed into big names that also dip their toes into the Five Nights at Freddy's juice. These games are Baldi's Basic and Poppy's Playtime, at least to name a few. I think these games give a similar feel to the Scary Pizzeria series. This is not saying by any means that these games don't have their own unique characteristics, but it is undeniable that they were created using Five Nights at Freddy's as a sort of blueprint. But anyway, obviously I am aware that Five Nights at Freddy's is not the only game that can be recognized as a complete horror game. Like I said before, Outlast can also be classified as one. Also Amnesia, and I'm sure there are hundreds if not thousands of horror games out there that have many horror elements that make them amazing. But I don't think any of them have had the influence Five Nights at Freddy's has had. Just to name something, Five Nights at Freddy's recently, well I say recently, it might have been a year ago already, 
last October, I think, Finest Freddy's had its own movie adaptation. And although it didn't really portray the game in the horror sense and was more just comedic relief, having a movie of a game is still groundbreaking territory. You know, you don't... <laughs> last time I checked, I haven't seen a... Oh, we don't talk about the Slenderman movie because that was ass. But I haven't seen an Outlast movie or an Amnesia movie. And just those three games have been incredibly influ influential in the horror game industry. But Final Fantasy Freddy's, which has been around for less time, has one. Why is that? It's because it has had such an impact, not just on the horror side of things, but also on the whole gaming industry as a whole. YouTubers. When the first Final Fantasy Freddy's game came out, YouTubers were slobbering on Scott Cawthon's knob to play the game. And that exploded their fan base. Many of them might not want to think about it and might not want to admit it, but the ones that do admit it know that the reason they have grown to be as big as they are is because of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Nothing was made like that before it. There were no animatronics. There was no security guard style game. There was no game where you were just put in one place and you could only move your head left and right and check security cameras. There was no running away. Well, no running away in the first four games, as that is all I'm talking about. I'm not talking, I don't even, I don't even know the names of the other ones. I think there was one called Pizzeria Simulator. I didn't even know that was part of the franchise until like two months ago. But what I'm trying to say is that this style of game couldn't be just classified a horror game anymore. Now, if the, now games that are like it are classified as Five Nights at Freddy's style games. You know how big a series has to be for the genre to be named after itself? Or even not as big, but I, how influential the series has to be. But anyway, that's enough yapping for now. This is all just to say that I feel that Final Fantasy Freddy's should be appreciated. Well, at least the f uh, let me rephrase that. This is all just to say that the first four games of Five Nights at Freddy's are golden tickets or rarities in the horror game industry that should be appreciated for years to come. But that is all for now. Thank you for watching.